In this live training, I want to show you how we use the media bin of ProPresenter here at Mercy Hill Church. It can be used in a lot of different ways, but the media bin is super important for you to be able to um, create your shows, edit, um, even operate some of the uh, shows that we do within ProPresenter. So let's take a quick look. All right, the first way that you can get to your media bin is up here in the top right. You click on the media button. It opens up the bin that you see here at the bottom. Uh, clicking it again will close that bin. You can also use the pull down menu, which I apologize you're not going to be able to see in my screen view. Um, but if you hit the view item in your toolbar and then go down to a lower section, you've got media bin that you can see in there. And when you select it, it opens up our media bin. You can also toggle the media bin with a keyboard shortcut, and that would be control and V. So as I hold control and then hit V, it opens and closes that media bin for us. Let's take a closer look at the media bin. Down here in the lower left, we've got various folders that have content. Um, and these folders, we just, we, we fill them up with anything that we need in relation to a service. So let's say I wanted to fill some things up. Uh, I'm going to create a new uh, playlist inside of the media bin. And this is just going to be example. And you can see the example folder is empty. I can rearrange example, um, you know, rearrange the order of things here if I wanted to. Um, but if I wanted to add an item to the media bin, I just need to open up my finder. I need to grab an item. Uh, so let's say I want to grab this Joshua current series slide, drag and drop. It's asking me because it already exists elsewhere. What do I want to do with it? I'm going to tell it to use the existing one, but you could write over that if it was um, something or you knew that the write over was right. Um, and so you can see here, I've got a slide that if I were to click it, it goes full screen. And of course, that's covering up my, my camera because of the way that we have our screen share. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and close that down so that you can um, uh, still follow along in the tutorial. All right, so media bin, the item is here, drag and drop, creating a uh, playlist. Super simple. Now, let's say I wanted that playlist to automatically populate with um, the content based off of a folder that we have on the computer. And we do use that. Our weekly assets folder is actually populated in that way. But I want to show you practically how we actually created that weekly assets folder. So you can hit the plus button in the media bin. We can choose a smart playlist. And then in the smart playlist, it asks you what folder do you want it to watch. And so in this case, I'm going to go, let's say, to my desktop. I'm going to, um, I should have a folder here. Let's call this example. And all right, so the example is on my desktop. It's an empty folder at this time. ProPresenter is going to watch that because I've um, navigated to it. And actually, <laughs> example was probably a bad name for it, but um, we, ha we now have a smart folder, for example, and we also have our example folder that we had created a second ago. Well, since that's a smart folder, we should be able to just drop stuff into that folder and have it show up in our media bin. So let's see if I can arrange my windows in a way that you could see this best. Um, so I'm going to look at my desktop, and I'm going to do a new window. And let's also go desktop. This time I'm going to go to the example folder. And let's say I wanted to put items from here. I'm just going to grab, uh, let's grab three slides. If I copy these items from my desktop into that example folder, you can see they automatically showed up here in the media bin. Let's do that one more time. A couple items, copy them in. And since ProPresenter is watching that folder, as those items show up there, they become available to be used in your media bin. So that's a, a quick overview of how we use the media bin uh, or how we populate the data in the media bin. But we could also add the items from the media bin right into our presentations. So let's say I wanted to add some items up here um, from the media bin. I could actually just drag and drop, and it puts an item there. Or I could even drag and cover up an item and it will, um, let's say I want to cover up this one. It will replace uh, a tile, uh, a slide, with the content of what you dragged in from the media bin. So that's really important for us um, in just setting up our, our services. Now I'm going to put that back um, just so that it's ready for our evening. Um, but uh, just see, that's how we use the media bin. Now, another example of ways that we might use it would be to add a, uh, a slide, like say during the teaching moment. Um, so we could take an item uh, from here. We could say this GIF slide needs to be used. And that, uh, that GIF slide, um, it comes with uh, 
it, it just assumes the, um, the functions of that slide that we had on here before. So um, there was a, a clear all that was already built into that slide. It just assumed the clear all that was already there. Uh, we may also want to change out our lower thirds to be something different. And so I'm sure somewhere in here we have um, what those lower thirds look like. Okay, in this off time gatherings, for example, we've got a different lower third style. I could actually just drag that lower third style right on top of a slide. And then as uh, new slides are created, um, this particular lower third could take precedence over what was there before. Um, so that just may be a quick example of ways that you could use the media bin. There's more to it. You're welcome to dig in. But again, this is just a general overview to get you started. I uh, hope that helps. Keep checking back for more content and uh, we'll have more training for you here shortly.